So I'm looking at creating these. So capsule art, capsule art, main capsule, main store homepage one. So this one's super important. So the idea, marketing man, and I tend to agree with him. The glorious idea he had was simple and effective and use the characters I'd already designed. It was Nosha going and eating a bat that's like flying away over here. Of course, this is terrible. So the bat's there going, bugging his eyes out. Help me! And, oh my god! That Nosh thing is gonna f***ing eat me! Ah! Bat's flying away. And Nosh is like, <laughs> You're going to go in my stomach. And then in between the two would be the name of the game. You thought you'd seen Rough Drafts before. Welcome to True Rough Draft. And then in between it's like, Nosha. That's the really incredibly rough sketch of what the uh, artwork is going to be. Like, beyond rough. Like, did I even spend a minute on that? Probably not. And what it's tempting to do is I might use the 3D model of the bat, I might create a quick blender file where I append in the bat and Nosha with their rigs, I pose them a bit, and then use that as a base to draw over just so I can really get the dimensions of the character and stuff right. Since this is ha has to be like a pretty high rendered art piece, it'd be nice to make my life as easy as possible. And this is why we'll be making it in 2D, because at the moment, while that's what it looks like, it looks super unprofessional. And doing it in 2D just has a bit of personality, a bit more soul behind it. Let's get scribbling. Let's not draw off screen. Let's actually move this in. We're gonna do the bat asset first, because I wanna put the bat asset in front of the text because i like the idea that it's like nosher and the bat are flying past the logo so one thing i want to do is i want to inverse the bat's expression so it's like he's screaming i'll take this and i'm gonna go upside down with it try and make the faces kind of meme -y. i'm gonna try and make this whole thing in chunks like i'm doing now so i'm gonna try and keep bat nosh background and text separate because what i'm hoping to be able to do is move them around for the different aspect ratios I need for different parts. So for the background, I'll try and not do hard lines, I guess. And I'm going to try and keep it as non-intrusive as possible. I'm trying to keep this lineless because I want the background to remain the background. So if I just kind of circle like this, the shadow should add any of the extra detail I want. The idea being that when all of this is over it, that the background will be kind of remaining in the background. Okay, yeah, I like the idea of there being motion blur. That's pretty cool. I think the thing I'm noticing now, though, with motion blur is I want some real shots of light in there. Okay, for the sake of the cover-up, what I might do is I might pretend that the bat has more uh, pupiled eyes. Just because uh, it's very hard to get an expression off with the dot eyes I've given him. So it might be better to change the design of the bat slightly for the front cover just so for this instance of him, I can display more emotion with him. Because at the moment, looking at this as like a basic render, I don't think these eyes work. In fact, what would be cool is if the bat was even in front of this. So it was like he was escaping out of that sort of screen. I feel like the text needs to be bolder now because the background takes from the boldness of the name. So it's like the bats flying out of the splash screen. You know how they do like that white line trick? You see it on some videos and stuff where they put white lines on the video to make it look more three-dimensional, even though it is still just a flat image. Kind of simulating that sort of deal by having a clear border to the image, but having some items leave the border. Yeah, there we go. There's still like some running going on, but there's also like a slight smile there. Also, his eyes are a bit dopey. Drawing eyes correctly is hard. <laughs> In fact, making the bat slightly bigger kind of draws my eyes to the main character a bit more as well, because you go to the bat, you see his eyes, you go down to Nosh, which takes you past the type. I might actually be working quite well. Making it hand-drawn adds to it a lot. It makes me nervous as hell, because I'm like, oh god, can I hand-draw? But it's coming out all right. I'm not going to say good, because I'm my father's son, and I'm terrible at calling things good, but... It's coming out all right. Ever so slight black border. Bring the text back out a bit more, especially since a part of it is behind the bat. Yeah, it's a lot more readable at a distance, which is what you want to be looking for. It's really subtle as well. 
Maybe not so subtle on the N and the E. I might reduce it a bit on these ones. Because when I'm looking at it in small, you can see the border on these parts in certain positions. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I dig that.